All right. This is almost beyond belief. There is video of a meeting at which the Trump riots were planned. You I mean, Lordy, there are tapes. These are not exactly criminal geniuses. That's for sure. Look at this Politico reporting. The DOJ has announced a film crew was present at the January 5th meeting between leaders of the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers. The details provide new evidence of the encounter between the two groups whose leaders played a key role in the breach of the Capitol the following day. Um, they're not sending their best and brightest brightest prosecutors say a documentary film crew was present when Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio and Oath Keepers leader Stuart Rhodes met for 30 minutes in an underground parking garage on January 5th. Now, remember, they've both since been arrested and charged. The details revealed in a Justice Department court filing on Monday provide new evidence of the encounter between the two groups whose leaders played a key role in the breach of the Capitol the following day. Quote, while in the parking garage, Tario told another individual he had cleared all of the messages on his phone before he was arrested. Prosecutors wrote in a filing urging a federal magistrate judge to detain Tario pending trial. Tario further stated no one would be able to get into his phone because there were, quote, two steps to get into it. Sounds like two step authentication. Prosecutors say after Tario left D.C. that night, part of a court ordered that he stay away from the city while facing charges related to his conduct during a December 2020 rally. He traveled to Baltimore that evening. Tario used the phones of associates to make a number of calls and to log back into his encrypted messaging accounts. After regaining access to his accounts, Tario assured his men his phone had not been compromised. Reuters first reported on the existence of that meeting and the FBI's interest in it last month. New details suggest Tario played a more direct role than previously understood. He's been charged. Stuart Rhodes has been charged, etc. Uh, Reuters report ex Proud Boys chairman Tario ordered detained pending trial in Capitol riot case. This is also from yesterday. A U.S. magistrate judge in Miami Tuesday ordered Tario, the Proud Boys chairman, former, to be detained while he awaits trial on charges stemming from the riots. So that is what we call pretrial detention. Now, I've spoken out before about the problems with pretrial detention in the United States. It's often applied unfairly, it's often applied. Um, uh, in practice, it ends up affecting those who don't have money for private lawyers. We've been talking about this for a very, very long time. These right wingers only now care about pretrial detention. I've been talking about it 10 years on the show. They didn't care. They didn't think there was any problem. Now they think there is. But there are videos of the meeting between Tario and Rhodes. The people in the videos have been running around for a year, and many of them probably thought they were in the clear. But it appears as though what the feds are and have been doing is following it all up the food chain. It's now hit Stuart Rhodes. It has hit Enrique Tario. Who knows the full scope of what's in, in these videos? But there is a very good chance that there are still very, very serious charges coming for additional people. Um, and I mean, consider, you know, when this all happened back in January of 2021, there was maybe the idea among some that this was all going to be figured out quickly. Some people might be charged and some might end up going to jail, prison, etc. Uh, but we are now 14 months in and the charges are still coming and not even everybody who's going to be charged has been charged. So the upside is we're now at hundreds. It might get to thousands of people who suffer some consequences for their role in the riot. That would be a very good thing. On the other hand, I am still completely not optimistic that really the big insiders, because remember, the real reason that this even got going was the false belief that the election had been stolen from Joe uh, from Donald Trump by Joe Biden, who promulgated that it was a bunch of Republicans and Donald Trump and Mark Meadows and uh, so on and so forth. Are they going to be held accountable? No, I, I still don't think that the vast majority of them will be. That's a problem. But if people committed crimes, they should be charged and they had, should have the, the book thrown at them. And uh, that does appear to be what's happening. Video video of the meeting. Unbelievable. 
We have a situation right now where many companies want and need to hire people quickly, but it is difficult to find the right candidates and workable is going to help. Workable accelerates every step of your hiring process. Workable helps you cast the widest net possible by posting your jobs to over 200 of the top job boards with just one click. It helps you evaluate and hire quickly with modern tools like video interviews and e signatures. You can automate some of those repetitive tasks like scheduling interviews, whether you're hiring for your coffee shop or your engineering team. Workable is exactly what you need to hire the right people fast. Start hiring today with a risk free 15 day trial. If you hire during the trial, which many do, it will cost you nothing. Just go to workable dot com slash podcast to start hiring. The link is down below.